Heb ik je koffie, Johnny? Fijn. Vanavond het ons... Oh, je praat aan Afrikaans, hè? Ah, ik dacht, je praat niet Afrikaans. Nie. Vanavond het ons voor Johnny Clegg. Maar ja, ik ook. Oor Jaluka, niet veel te zeggen. Nie. Ik ga het voor Johnny oorlaat. Jaluka, Johnny, what is it all about, exactly? Well, it's, uh, it's about many things. Um, basically, I think it's, it's about bringing people together. It's about uh, hope. And it's about building a, a future together. Mm. And the, the band started around about um, 1979 as Juluka. But before that, uh, it was a duo, Johnny and Sipo. Sipo Mkunu, my partner and co-leader, co-founder of the band. Uh -huh. We started in 1969. What, what does Jaluka mean? Sweat. It's a, it's a Zulu word, is yes. that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did you actually get involved, you know, into this Zulu culture? Because you told me uh, beforehand that you were still a very young guy when this all happened for you, or started happening. Correct, yeah. I, well, as a youngster, I, I met some Zulu street musicians when I was 14 mm -hmm. in Johannesburg. And um, I got to know all the different migrant labor hostels around Johannesburg, Wema. JP, George Koch, Denver, and uh, my, my, all the different Zulu migrant labor hostels. And on the weekends, I used to go there. I learned concertina, I learned uh, guitar music, and then to dance as well. On your own show then, or did you no, have... No, 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 this, this was just my interest. Ah, uh, just your interest. Yeah, and that's where you started learning the language correct. as well. Because yeah. you do speak Zulu fluently, don't yes, you? Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. Right, Johnny, we're going to talk uh, some more a little later on, but we are very curious to have a look at Kilimanjaro. I think just before we have a look at that, Kilimanjaro, where did the title come from? Where did the idea come from? Uh, Kilimanjaro is a mountain in Tanzania and it's a very sacred mountain. It's where a lot of tribes trace their origins to. And um, it's a, for us a symbol of hope. Uh, the song is a symbol of hope, although um, we go through some difficult periods at the moment in our country. Mm -hmm. um, it's a symbol of hope in the sense it says that if you climb to the top of Kilimanjaro, you've actually got to climb above everything. That's right. To yeah. get a perspective. Oh, is that the symbolic see. meaning of the song, Correct, actually? Yeah. Right. Johnny, how is your music accepted in South Africa, generally spoken? Well, um, the band has now got the biggest crossover. I think it's the biggest crossover band in South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very wide following in all the different communities. Um, Coloured Indian, we just did a, a very successful tour to the Cape and we've broken very heavily into the, the Coloured market mm -hmm. there. It's been, it was a tremendous tour. And um, we're now also breaking heavily into the white market. That's right. So, on the international level, there's great hope for Jaluka, but we'll discuss that a little okay. later on. Okay. <laughs> Uwe Lewis and the news. Johnny, in our preliminary chat, I just got that slight impression that you are not very much impressed with Spando Ballet, is that a fact? Well, um, you know, they, they came as a reaction to punk music. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they were, they, there was a, a group of, of, of uh, people called the New Romantics that developed out of punk music right. as a reaction to punk music. And they started getting dressing up, you know, dress, dressed up in uh, um, fancy gear and, and uh, very romantic sort of mm -hmm. um, genteel English uh, symbols. That's right. So and that's not your scene, really. No, not really. <laughs> Johnny, we were discussing your overseas tours. You went to Canada twice. What are your future plans? Are there any more overseas uh, visits coming up, maybe? Well, we're going to be playing at the, uh, the Year of the Youth Festival in Jamaica. And um, after that, we're coming back to cut two albums. Uh, we've just finished a national tour of South Africa. And uh, we will be going to France, Belgium, Holland in October. And that's basically it. I think the most important thing the band feels at the moment is to bring out a very good, strong mm -hmm. album. But Jamaica, that's something very special. I mean, yes. how did you succeed in, in arranging this tour? Well, it, it, uh, it's taken us two and a half years to, to break through the skepticism and the ambivalence that people felt about the band now. And uh, we feel that we home and dry. Mm -hmm. As far as international acceptance of the band is concerned, yes. Well, that's very good to learn about South African musicians that want to do things like that. Johnny, you grew up in more or less the same era that I grew up, the 60s, you know? We were little guys that's about right, yeah. 10, 11 years old. And uh, how does the music of the 60s appeal to you? Because There's some very special music of the 60s, which I still listen to. Uh -huh. you know, so you do enjoy that still yes, today? Yes, very much so. Right. You know what, Johnny, I, I think you should go home now.
to your girlfriend before Tom Jones gets there, don't you think? <laughs> Tony, thanks a lot for being our guest on uh, Tele Music. Thank you. We really enjoyed it and everything of the best to Jaluka. Thank We're you. looking forward to hear much, much more about that. Thanks, thanks a lot. lot.